is Harun Okolo here? Yes. Huh? Yes. Just sit there, calmly. Anywhere. I follow Harun. We wrote petition against her, and we stand by it. I swear with Almighty God and with this Quran. Order, I got this. Order, I, speak, order, I got order. this Quran. For uh, right to fear hearing. Madam was accused, we gave her opportunity to speak. I will warn, this committee will warn. Please, speak to the issues. No name calling. Speak only to the allegation that is raised against you. Madam, have, uh, the chairman of the Federal Character Commission have raised allegation against Lagos. Against Oshun against Delta, against Aqua Ibom, against Inugu, against Rivers. May I call on them one after another? First starting from Lagos. Can you respond? It is quite surprising that the chairman will allege publicly an attempt to assassinate my checkered character, checkered both in Nigeria and abroad. However, in her submission, she did not, she has not pledged or provided any evidence to substantiate this frivolous and damaging allegations. A reporter on the 26th had gone viral. I have received calls from all over that I, Abdulwasiu Kayo de Bawahala, went to MDS in Lagos with fake commissioners. In the document the chairman provided to this honorable committee, there was no picture, no date, no name of MDA that I went with the so-called fake commissioners, no substantive evidence provided. I call this very important committee to my submission, starting from page 20. In there, I give background and synopsis, my understanding of my role as a regulator appointed to serve, which I take very, very seriously, and to represent the people of Lagos. That I set out to do. On coming on board, I found out that the situation of Lagos indigenes in the employment across Nigeria, and especially in Lagos State, very, very damning. Now, of all the MDAs in the country, in level one to six, I say publicly, Lagos is the lowest at 10%. Sorry, sorry. Is Harun Okolo here? Huh? See, nobody should, excuse me. Now, from page 20, I call the attention of this committee. A journalist, Lagos is testifying. Please. Lagos, move on. That my role is to look out for the interests of people of Lagos. I soon and quickly realized that the goal is order. She alleged that I write letters and I go about business to see people. Now, I call the attention of this committee to sample letters, courtesy letters written to the organizations by the state office. I didn't write the letter. When I came to Lagos, I realized 10,000 staff of federal MDAs in Lagos 
with only less than 1,000 Lagos indigents, a place that we should occupy 75%. I set out to engage with these MDAs. Unfortunately, the chairman is not on the same page with me. Her goal was to block anybody and everybody that can be blocked so that she can have direct access. Uh, sorry, to sorry. Them. No, yes. We can mention submission. There was an allegation meted against you. Yes. Concentrate on only the aspect of the allegation uh, meted against you, please. Yes, I am. That's. The allegation was that I was going about with fake commissioners in Lagos, and I have said it publicly. If she has pictures, she will have provided it. If she has recording of my visits with fake commissioners, she should provide it. And she has not submitted any to that. Okay, uh, okay, Clark, Clark, let's not waste time. Somebody should take this to him so that we will move on. We are not, we just to hear from them and take our decision at the end of the day. Let's see right that letter. Just mention the name of agency for me. Uh, the name is Federal Character Commission. No. Address to who? Address to Wokosha and Abduwasil Kayode Bawa Allah. What was the letter saying? The letter is saying body of commissioners that we we are using a letterhead. When was the letter written? When, when was the date on the letter? November, November 2021. Thank you. Return it. Return it. So move on before okay. members will ask you questions. So when you are talking that we, we, there is yes. no evidence, I am getting lost. Okay. The, the, the body of commissioners are the integrity group. This integrity group, I was nominated by the body of commissioners to be the secretary. And Sir Augustine Wokosha was also nominated as the chairman of that body. This body is the agitating body because of maladministration and high handedness in the commission. We tried desperately to make sure that we are not before you today. Three years going, and the chairman has done everything that she could to frustrate the effort of internal um, process and, and due process. To the extent that a particular incident happened at Federal Character, we wrote on the platform that we want to have a meeting. The chairman went and bought chain and padlock and locked up the plenary room where we we're supposed to have the meeting. We ultimately, we had that meeting. She caused a letter to DSS for us to be invited for interrogation, for vandalization, which there was no vandalization. The chairman will run and want to run federal character as a personal fiefdom. She does not want any dissenting voice. She does not want anybody to counter her. This, for is, us, this is, again, we must go to equity, yes. clean hands up. Yes. Don't accuse again. I'm Respond not accusing. to the I'm, issue. I'm, I'm stating. I have opened a page to you yes. of a letter written to you. You said that there is no, because we don't want the public, everybody will talk. We, we, we have, you, we. Mr. Chairman. Uh, listen, Mr. Chairman, listen, Commissioner Lagos. Yes. It is the public image that I am more interested in and spirit of justice. Yes. When you said to this committee that there is no evidence, and we have five, six written evidence. It's what I am referring to you. Mr. Mr. And that I, I am conscious of mentioning date 2021 so that the public will not know that the accusation is now. There is a letter backing up that. Explain. It's left Mr. for us to take decision in Mr. respect Mr. of that. Mr. Chairman, yes. that letter does yes, not sir. address fake commissioners. Please read. The letter that you, attend, that you pointed to does not address the fake commissioners. She alleged me personally that I am going around in Lagos with fake commissioners. Mr. Chairman, please, I want your protection. And I am speaking passionately about my character. This letter that she is referring to are letters we used to write letter to Mr. President, a petition to Mr. President, a petition to, to the Senate, a petition to the House of Rep, a petition to ethics and petition. 
back as far back as December 2020. So the letter she's referring to, she's trying to cow and debar us from having a voice of dissension. Thank you. Now, on the issue of fake, fake commissioners, I did not and I have not gone to anywhere in Lagos without the staff of the, uh, of the office in Lagos. Now, my reason for going to people in Lagos, which I have in my submission given you plenty copies of letters that I wrote to them before the visitation, um, one particular MDA comes to mind, which is Nemasa. Nemasa is located in Lagos. It will interest you. We're supposed to have 75 percent of level one to grade level one to six in Lagos. Till today, there is not one Lagosian employed in Nemasa. Not one. In the entire Nemasa, Lagos only has 33. And it's painful that in the entire Nigeria, Lagos that had been a state since 1967 cannot boast of 10 percent staff in. Lagos State. That's MDAs in Lagos. I'm not even talking of anywhere else. Now, all efforts to redress this is blocked by the chairman. The chairman wrote a letter without any funding to stop engagement with any of these MDAs. I also uh, caused a memo signed by the commissioners, body of commissioners Southwest. All of us signed in where when she issued the letter that does not authorize us to visit and engage against our rule, rule number 33 and 34 of federal character approved in 2015, that we are the CEO in our state. How can I look out for the interests of the people of my state if I cannot have a voice, if I cannot visit with them and redress the marginalization of my people? She also mentioned, um, and again, Everywhere I've gone, there's a comprehensive report of my visitation submitted to the office of the chairman. The chairman will not read or respond to any of the memos or letters sent to her. That's why she can flimlessly accuse and allege that I go everywhere. The, my visitation to Nemasa, a letter on page 47, says report of a state visit, April 2021. That's on page 47. In there, I stated, this is my concern. Till date, the chairman, the, this letter was received in our office on May 6, 2021. She has not caused any response to this. It continued on. I have written to chairman several memos on issue of Lagos, including, including people who use indigenship of Lagos, who are not from Lagos. I wrote a memo to her as far back as 2021 June. Maybe tomorrow the chairman will respond to this issue. Again, she mentioned the issue of customs. Custom recruited in 2020 when we came on board. I observed lopsidedness against people of Lagos and Southwest. I pointed this out to retired Colin Army. The letter that I wrote to Colin Army was so equally submitted in chairman's office, received 20, 20 June 2022. That's on page 82, your honorable. She would have none of it that Lagos only had 22 in that recruitment against other states that I listed in this. I continued engagement every time I do anything or write to anybody, the office of the chairman is copied and notified. It will surprise and shock you that there was an internal memo that I that exchanged between the two of us, that is the office of the chairman and my office. The chairman spurously sent our internal memo to Colin Ali. Colin Ali now had the impetus to write and said, I should take a hike. I know where to go. Obviously, he had the protection of the chairman against me and my state and Nigeria. Uh, for interest of time, I think this is enough to justify why the chairman would, and this did not start today. All these letters that I've just sent to you were letters dated and copied Thank you. from 2020. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Mr. Chairman.
He also made reference to two rules approved by the commission. What are the two rules? Role of members in the states. A member is the representative of the state at the federal level. A member is the chief executive representative in state office and will serve as chief executive at that level and report to the executive chairman. Thank you very much. So we are not to cover anybody. Adeoye. I represent the good people of Oshun State at the Federal Character Commission. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to refer you to page 5 through to page 6 of the Chairman's submission to the other committee. It contains the allegation leveled against me by the Chairman of the Commission. And my own response to our allegation is contained, respectfully, sir, at page 92. It runs to page, it runs to page, sorry, sir. It turned to page 130, from page 92 to page 130. Sir, on the 26th, 7th, 2023, the chairman of the commission orally accused me that I bought a house. I told the owner of the house that I was going to use laws to pay and that she had evidence and that the person took me to court. Surprisingly, Mr. Chairman, at page five, run to page six of our submission, what is found there is different to what, was, what she said on 26 7, 2023. There are two different things entirely. However, whether she's adopting the earlier oral allegation or the one containing these documents have copiously responded to both oral and written allegation against me. My response, which I said was contained at page 92 to 130, to one, page 130, dated 4th August 2023, I had adopted it and I rely on it and all the attachments contained therein. Sir, the chairman's allegation that I bought a house, she attached two documents to a written submission. The first document was a petition written by one Ayola Baba Tundi Oke, and my own response, that was all she could uh, attach to the uh, allegations, written allegation level against me. There was nowhere, Mr. Chairman, there was nowhere in the petition where it was stated directly by implied terms that I promised the owner of the said property that I was going to use slots to pay. There was nowhere I repeat. Sir, my own response is just a page to her when she minuted that document to me. And with the kind permission of the chairman, it's just a two paragraph. May I with respect read, sir? The document read internal memo, and the content is your request for my comments on the above subject matter as contained the minutes made on a copy of the petition for order to me refers and wish to state the following points. That the content of the petition represents a simple contract between a third party and me, which implies that it is my private avias which I jealously protect 
and does not attend, extend or affect my official duties. Hence, my refusal to go into the details of the matter as demanded by you. The second point I made was that, assuming without conceding that the matter in issue was an official one, your request for my content on the matter, for my comments on the matter was tantamount to an issuance of a query on me, which does not fall within your purview or your power to so do. I therefore, in paragraph three, hold the chairman to advise the petitioner that the option left to him is to approach a civil court for redress. With utmost respect, sir, this is what the chairman construed to me that they've taken me to court painfully and unfortunately. In the two documents attached to the allegation leveled against me, there was nothing, nothing to suggest the allegation that the chairman leveled against me. And I challenge me, challenge her, if she has further evidence, I will be ready to defend my integrity, to defend my character, which I have been jealously protect over the years. Sir, in a written submission, sir, or before I go into that, I want to curiously mention that sometimes, you know, uh, you're mindful of time. I am, sir. So I am, sir. To us, you have responded. Because you I, have pointed I, out the fact that there is no nexus between this and that. I am sorry, so sir. It is important that I say this. I'm no, sorry, sir. Sir, sometimes in 2022, three of us, three of us, we went to meet DG DSS. We sat with, with him. And we told him, Mr. DG, we are very, very unhappy about the issue of job bracket yarning. Sir, does we, that, does that, what you are saying, mm. does it have relationship it with does. the defense of it the does. It economy? does, it does. The reason is that for us to have, for us to have has DG DSS to comfort, comfortably conduct an operation with regard to investigation on job bracket in the commission where I serve, cannot by any standard, if I have any skeleton in the cupboard, I will not have that courage to so do. And I challenge the chairman, sir. Sir, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, with, with due respect, sir, with due respect, sir, there was... There is, I, what I want to say yes, sir. is not in relation to your revelation. Okay. We are public office holders. Very well, sir. About our position, we wrote petition against her, and we stand by it. Where, when has she taken that courage to write petition or to take appropriate step against me if I thought the allegation that she leveled against me was true? Thank you. Sir, you, you sir have I'm said, sorry, sir. Uh, I, I want to ocean, off. Ocean wait. Mm. You make your facts in summary and in very clear terms. Courage in the committee. We pray God gives you the capacity to deliver rightly. Thank you so much. Members will ask question. Based on what she alleges, was there a relationship between that business transaction with selling slots of civil service job to the owner of the house? It is here. We have read. We cannot see. But it's not for us now to come to conclusion that this is our stand. But again, the letter you are citing, members will not even ask question on this. If the chairman federal character did not equally on her own decide to minute a letter to you. It was a letter written to her by someone you had, a, 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 a lawyer that you had business with someone. That does not relate to job selling in any way, in my own opinion. We mustn't waste time here. But again, it is not on her own, just like that, that she addressed a letter to you. You must have done something to someone. That person wrote to her. Morally, she had the obligation to mean it to you. But morally, she equally don't have the obligation to link that to accusation that does not exist. I think, I, I, let us go clean. Let us go clean. We will get, some of this issue are petty. Isn't it? They are petty somebody have a transaction we will not wait for some of this pronouncement to come from our report i have a transaction with someone i am working in the national assembly normally if the person cannot get his money from me he write to the speaker of the house of representative 
and it is the responsibility of the speaker to call my attention to that complaint by the lawyer of that person. So she did that. But the bone of contention here is what has done later by the person you transacted business with got to do with the allegation of job racketeering. I do not see the nexus, but again, let's move further. Please, we have had. Time will come. Time will come that we will, some of these things, where does not waste energy on? There was no place. Uh, she accused me, or rather than respond to the issue of job Rakata and raise against her. Mr. Chama, sir. Yeah? There was no... Yes, I can hear you. Five minutes remaining for... Oh, okay, fine. Like, all the, like, like I said earlier, the document submitted by the chairman, there was no any allegation here against me. And um, the issue raised by Job Rakatia that I uh, also raised, she has not uh, been able to respond to anything here. I want to draw the attention of the committee to the document we submit earlier, page 166. 166, where we have account details. Sir, I want to emphasize on the account number three there, which is the pool account. Sir, I want to also urge this house, because that is the same account because of the level of job rakata by the by the chairman, I want to inform this house that not only the job Rakata alone, I also use the, 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 the fund of the commission through staff to raise money. Is that, is that the allegation raised against you? No. No, 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 there. No, no. We no. have spoken about this. Okay, fine. Talk okay, to fine. the allegation race against okay, you. Okay, fine. No, there are no. I'm just trying. Whether to... front or not front, don't go there. Okay, fine. I'm just trying to refer the committee to that that account. You have referred us. We have statement of account. We have been making reference to it. So we have even worked ahead of you. Account number three, there, sir. That is what I'm referring to right now, sir. That that the same account where one of the account that. She's using to default the Federal Character Commission. You are alleging, Abi? You will see the clear in that statement of account. Where I have. Where money pay from the from the FCC account to those staff, then they will not transfer to that account. When you have it, you will see those records there. And I want the You do you have it to give us? The one that is transferred to individual accounts. We have the ones that are transferred from people that complain to accounts of individuals, that, but what of the one that our, lets... Our, 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 our could I, could I, could I access bank. Okay. Is, is on the first document we submitted. Page, okay, page thank you, six. thank you. Move on and defend yeah. that allegation. It, it, Let us avoid taking was, us aback. There, there was no there were any allegation against me. On thank the, you. Next commissioner. Mr. Chairman and committee members. Against which chairman? Not me, I hope. <laughs> Against the Commission Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Chairman and committee members, I want to affirm that indeed I, as the Commissioner representing Lagos and the Chair, or River State and the Chairman of Body of Commissioners, and Lagos, who is the Secretary of the Body of Commissioners, have been complaining about the maladministration in the Commission. In my first presentation on the 26th, I did say that the commission was dysfunctional and I substantiated that. I said on the floor of the plenary that anything that will not allow me to represent the people of River State effectively in the commission will be resisted, that I will not agree. And I have kept to that pledge that I must represent River State because I was sent to federal character to represent River State. And, and let's joke small, not joke anyway. And that is why you have problem in federal character. You know why? Yes. You are not representing Nigerians, you are representing ethnicity and states. No. By the time, listen, by the time you as commissioners yes. from Rivers 
fight for injustice in Nasarawa. And Nasarawa, just like we do in the National Assembly, fight for injustice in Ikiti. And Ikiti fight for injustice in Zampara. We will not be where we are today. So it means if injustice is not meted to rivers, you will not speak until and unless injustice is meted to your state, then you will speak against that. Mr. Chairman, I... No, no, that was on the light hand, but let's talk about your defense. Thank you very much. <laughs> The fact is that there is injustice everywhere in the Federal Character Commission. That is why in the first place I said that it was dysfunctional. Because the work we were sent to do at the Federal Character Commission is not being done. Mr. Chairman, you pointed us to the letter written by the Secretary. Something is echoing. You pointed us to the letter written by the Secretary to myself and Lagos. Mr. Chairman, it is not unusual for a body like our own, just like your own body, for you to have some kind of caucuses. I'm aware that you have the PDP caucus, you have the APC caucus, you have the Northeast caucus, and all manner of caucus. It's allowed for people to come together when they work together in whatever shade that is convenient for them to come together towards furthering the well-being of the work that they have come to do. The body of commissioners is not a, um, it's not a constitutional body, a legal body, or whatever that is trying to usurp the function of the commission. The body of commissioners is a collection, a, a coming together of commissioners who have observed that things are not going on well in the commission. And we try to draw the attention of the chairman that things are not going on well in the commission. And she refused to pay attention to it or to respond to any of the issues we have raised. All the letters we have written as body of commissioners, none of them is to an agency to ask for job, to ask for contract, to ask for money, or whatsoever pecuniary interest. All of our letters have been to our supervisory authorities, asking them to look into the misrule and the malfeasance going on in the commission. You have five minutes. This is all we have been writing about. Thank you. And if this amounts to... If, if I understand you well, you are the chairman of the body of commissioners. Yes. Whenever the rules of engagements are not being respected, you have to auto the position of other commissioners for, right to be, for wrongs to be righted. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. That is your sin. Yes. Noted. <laughs> Apologize for coming late. I had sent a letter earlier uh, nominating Delta commissioners to speak on my behalf, but I had to hurry, took excuse over there to, to be here. We wouldn't person. have allowed that. It's an <laughs> allegation, so the, nobody will speak the, for you. Thank you, sir. Um, let me adopt my document and also submit. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Let's uh, first of all note that there was no allegation on me on job racketeering. There is no place the chairman alleged that uh, concerning this committee, the essence of this committee, that I sold any slot or that any single slot has been, ever been given to me and I sold. Your and, own is uh, that you didn't go I, to school. Uh, hey, so, that is my offense, sir. Uh -huh. So, uh, so, so you have, last time you have told us that you are going to school, University of Joss, you did yes, diploma sir. in law. Yes, you sir. have any other defense? Yes, because she let someone... You are married, admissions. you went to Joss, you did your diploma in Joss, yes, Joss and you tendered the certificate. Any yes, other sir. thing? Yes, sir. Um, in her submission, uh, the chairman made allegation against me on uh, that my group, I don't know which group she's talking about, actually planning or planned to take over her position. That is not true. And uh, I will just run down. The second one, she said, she alleged that I'm undergoing a degree program at Leeds University. The above allegation is false and baseless, malicious, because I am not a student and never a student of Leeds University. And also, the letter she wrote to the SGF on this issue about me being in school at Leeds University was not, was not copied, and I think that is also witch hunting. And also, she laid another allegation about uh, Federal Polytechnic that I, I didn't attend to this, uh, the file. 
that is not true because on the same day I attended to other files which was you know submitted back to our office but this other one was held because I requested for some documents to back up my advice and which was refused me and so I decided to re respond to her after a long time to say you should take a decision by yourself I have no advice on this and then the fourth one she said uh, she laid an allegation on me of breach of oath of office, which is baseless, malicious, and of course, ultra-virus, her part. She is not in her power to query me in the first place. Um, the fact that I responded to the first one about Hoto is to put the record straight. And um, the appearance on television programs was orchestrated by patriot patriotism and clamor for, by journal journalists who adore and respect had respect for my unbiased socioeconomic analysis. And the fifth one, the chairman alleged that commissioners were paying illegal visits to MDAs, therefore submitted some documents to chief of, of, uh, to chief, of uh, chief of staff, service chiefs. And I also want to say that I have never embarked on illegal visits, and uh, the, the, the letters that she sent to this chief service chiefs, it's strange to me. I was not copied or informed of such letter until now. I do not understand how you can shave a man's head behind his, behind his back. And again, finally, Mr. Chairman, it is determined right now that Mrs. Dankaka has nothing against me in line with the issue in contention. Her claims were made to divert attention on this issue for determining job racketeering, of course, we have accused that Thank you. And with allegations. Thank you. I am confident and honorable that this committee Thank you. will not dis be distracted by her case. Thank you. We'll not, we'll, we will not, let me use your Please. statement, my sister. Yes, we will sir. not be distracted by all of you. Thank you. Commissioner. Colo, colo. Slash affirmation. Both slash affirmation. That I, I, Polo Haruna, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, affirm that the evidence I shall give before the committee, affirm that the evidence I shall give before the committee, and all the documents that I will present before the committee, and all the documents I will present to the committee, shall be the truth, shall be the truth, the whole truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kolo Haruna. Sit down. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and honorable members. I'm so sorry. I'm, uh, my apologies. I'm here very late because I got the invitation by 12.30. 12 yes. I, Haruna Kolo, formerly uh, a federal character staff. Uh, the Dex, IP Dex, Dex Officer HR model. I found out an allegation levied against me by the chairperson of Federal Character Commission, Dr. Muhiba Farida Ankaka, on the national dailies on television on 31st July 2023. To state the facts, I was a staff of Federal Character Commission prior to the appointment of the, uh, of the executive chairman as chairperson. After the resumption of office, she appointed me as her protocol officer, which I carry out my duties diligently and with utmost respect to her office. One of the allegations levied against me is job racketeering. Of the, uh, of the executive chairman's allegations of job racketeering, she instructed me to liaise with one Chew. Chew is a is a driver, is a PA to a Taraba Commissioner, and is here. Chew uh, Chew is the PA. He serves as the PA to the Taraba Commissioner, and the driver. She instructed me to liaise with him. So if there's any, uh, as a tax officer of IPPS uh, HR model, I'm responsible 
of taking whoever is recruited in federal character to IPPS for capturing. So you will not go there until when you have letter <laughs> by the executive chairman or the director of HR. But when she came, she wrote a letter to the Accountant General then that any correspondent that is coming from uh, Federal Character Commission should not be attended to unless if she's the one that signs the letter. So whenever there's new recruitment, she signed, she gave me the, uh, the names that I'll take you to Accountant General before the, office, the new, uh, uh, this will be captured, the new staff will be captured. So, the, uh, the show is the one that brought people, so many people, uh, like almost 25 of them. One, one will pay 1 million, the other one will pay 1.5 million, all to my personal accounts. All to my personal account, sir. Yes. My account number, uh, it does Eco Bank account number. After which, she instructed me to give, give, give her the cash, all in, in cash installments. There's no transfer, there's nothing, just for me to withdraw two POS, from this POS to that POS, cash installment. I take it to her. I was never at any time involved in selling jobs in any, to anyone. I only acted based on instructions, sir. Then, uh, the second allegation is uh, my reporting to Amcon. My subsequent appointment to Amcon was a result of a personal favor to me. We were four in numbers. She gave the appointment letter to in Amcon. My name is Haruno Kolo, one. That's uh, Khadija Bukola Bello. There's Ibrahim Yekin Olushola. There's Rafiu Kasali. We all proceeded to interview at Amcon headquarters Amuda. After which we are all called upon for training and induction in Grand Bella Hotel. That's uh, 16 January 2023. After the completion of the training, I and Ibrahim Odushala were posted to Lagos, which review uh, was in uh, Abuja. Unfortunately, uh, Khadija Bukola Bello, which uh, was her sister, her own biological sister, was rejected due to her age, as it was she was above 50 years. After Kajari's rejection, the chairperson personally taunted and accused me of being responsible for her sister's rejection by Amcon. Bearing these factors, I see no reason why the chairperson will lay allegations of such magnitude of my innocent self. Recently, I have been receiving several calls, threats, even at one point. I have to leave Abuja, sir. I have to leave Abuja because of that. Sir, I want this house to please, after this sitting, to anything that happened to me, anything that happened to me, please, you should be held responsible. Thank you, sir. She appointed you as a protocol officer. Is that right? The other thing that you will clarify is, have you benefited from double salary from the federal character IPPS payment as well as another agency? Are you, yes or no, have you benefited that? We are taking note on your mic. Everybody should off, allow him to check your mic and off it. They are on your mic. Have you, are, are you an employee of more than one agency of government? No, no, no. no. Have you benefited from I resigned second November 2020. And you have not collected salaries from Federal Character Commission? Before the stoppage, because they have to, according to uh, uh, the tax officers, they have sending letters to stop the salary. I think I received one. Double salary? It's not double, one or two salaries. While you are serving in AMCOM? Yes. Did you return it to the Federal Character account or government accounts for... Yeah, uh, Central account for collecting double salary. No, I did not them. because I called the HR. Then he said there's no problem. It's something that it can be resolved. The HR in where? Then, Mr. Eteng. In federal character. Yes. And he said no problem. No problem. It can be the resolved. It's from their from their own place, not from me. Okay. Yes. I'm coming, sir. Yes, sir. Aside of that, 
uh, members will interrogate you, but it's just a platform for me to clarify a lot of issues to members before you, before you, before they ask questions. Are you aware at a point that some staff reported to federal character of collecting employment, reporting you, and that that employment was fake to that led to the putting together of disciplinary committee to investigate you? Yes. So the, uh, the letters are not fake. She signed the letters. Okay. All the letters, even the, um, the what's it called? Uh, The letterhead paper. She's in charge of the letterhead paper. Whenever, I, I think the commissioner, all the commissioners are here. Whenever there's a request for letterhead, she picks through her own safe and gives them one, two, three, and to do whatever they want to do. Okay, so those letters were not yes, fake. But you are aware that there was a report against you regarding yes. to money. Yes. Let ab yes. Let about 25 staff or so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Why were you playing that role of serving as a front to collect money from sir, Nigerians? I'm coming okay. from Nigerians and retire it to someone. What mm -hmm. makes you feel that that, as a civil servant, that was a genuine role for you I've, to? I've never done that. But due to her directive, and I have no choice than to just help her to do it. And she's denying me today. So if I give you directive in Amcon, or if they give you an illegal directive in Amcon, to serve as a front to collecting money for contracts oh, and... I know that. But why did you do that in federal character? <laughs> let, me, let me show you this. Do you know the owner of this account? Yes, I know him. Who is the owner? That is Dishew. Dishew. Eh? Dishew. Yes. Dishew okay. and Mr. Kimab. Yes. Not the first one. Who yeah. owned that account? The title of that account, Haruna Kolo. Check. It's my account. It's Every your bank. account? Yes. Okay. How much was in that account as at that time? 1.9. No. The closing balance was that something million. No. Give it back to me. Give it. Give it back to me. Okay. I will guide you. I will guide you. I. We are very happy that you are here willingly, without allowing the house to issue any threat before you honor us. So thank you for that. And thank you for being bold to accept responsibility of your role in the federal character. I will regulate the extent to which you are interrogated. I will not allow anybody to ask you questions outside of what you are here and outside of the testimony that is linked to you in the spirit of justice. So feel free to respond to members. Where you want my assistance in protecting you, call on me. I will do that. God bless you for coming. You will speak last. Let's start from the back row. Your transaction with the chairperson, do you have evidence? Give him paper to write all the questions, and then he respond at once. Do you have evidence of the instructions she gave to you? Thank you. I represent FICA Fune Federal Constituency in Yobia State. My question to Haruna Kolo is, can you confirm to this committee if you are also employed with the Nigeria Law School? That is one. And second question is, can you please tell us what is your salary? monthly salary, your net pay. Thank you. Jimmy Godwin Oga, member representing the good people of Isukwata and Lumunoche Federal Constituency. Uh, our August visitor, Mr. Haruna Kolo, the most
most uh, popular visitor for today. Please, my question is very simple. Thank God you admitted that people pay money to your account uh, on behalf of the chairperson of federal character. Please, can you be able to provide us with an evidence, evidence to show the exchange of the money when you are giving it to the chairperson? Because we can see from the report of your account that there are some other trans transfers that, that are going on there. Does it mean that in no, there is no time you have done any transfer or maybe you have done that exchange of cash in her office? Being that in her office somebody said here there is a CCTV camera in her office. I think if you have done such, with that CCTV, one of the days, with that we can get an evidence. But if there is no evidence to show that you, there is exchange of money. Honorable, your question is noted. You got employment with the, the other place you wanted to go. Did you discuss it with the chairman and uh, you submitted, or you submitted your letter directly without any discussion with the chairman? First question. Second question is, we wanted to know uh, how many times have you been given this money on installment? Order, order. Where are you currently working? You have said it, I'm calm. That is what he said in his opening. One question, is there any evidence of uh, instructions from the executive chairman? Yes. It's, uh, the evidence is just verbal. It's verbal. That's one. Two. Again, what do you say? Okay. The number Repeat one. what you just said in okay. response to number verbal. one. Verbal. It's That's just verbal instruction yes, she verbal gave instruction. you. Yes, sir. So, next. Next. Okay. But in respect of that, he asked equally, are you aware of financial regulations as a federal civil servant? Yes, sir. You are aware of I'm it? aware of financial okay. Next question. Am I a staff of Nigeria Law School? No, I'm not. I'm from Federal Character Commission. Then can you be able to be evidence of the place where I used to give her the money? I used to go to the house. That's the residence, residential home. I used to go to the house. Then when did you... When did I submit my letter of resignation from Federal Character Commission? 2nd November 2023. Hmm? 2020, 2nd November 2022. That's when you did what? I submitted my letter of resignation. The way I'm working right now, I'm working in Amcom. Then the beneficial uh, money transfer, that's the first place to transfer, is uh, the issue. Is the so he said it. He's a driver to Taraba or PA to Taraba commissioner. Yes. Move on. Let us be taking notes. Yes. Then the idea of people that they collected money from, they are 25. 25. The people? Move on. Okay. Now what's the next question? Just some. Okay. Chief Wale, okay. Five minutes. 10,000? Yes. And then Amcon is 494. 494. Thank you. Now, uh, our investigation on federal character is two ways. One bordered on the internal issues, and the second bordered on the certificates of comp compliance issued to be. Is that carried on any recruitment? 
Yes, there is a letter she... Uh, Excuse me, did federal character... Would you confirm to this committee that you are also the IPPI's desk officer for federal HR. character? Yes, HR. Okay. Yes, I am. So, how many staff did federal character engaged that were captured on the IPPI's? The, the letters were over 300. Three. But yes, but she uh, she captured small as in piecemeal. Yes. The letter issued by Federal Character yes. were over uh, what, 300. 300. Yes. But those captured by FPS were how many? Piecemeal. I don't, I can't, I don't know the number. So, as a nature staff of Federal Character, what is the procedure for recruiting workers? One, you need to get a waiver from head of service. Second, from uh, budget office of the federation. Then uh, you write a letter to accountant general for the capture. So you don't advertise. You, you still advertise. Did you, did you advertise during this period under consideration, 2020 to 2023? No advertisement. No advertisement. Mm. Your movement, your redeployment, yes. your living amcon. Is the management aware of your movement? Living Amcom or living federal character? Living federal character to Amcom. Is the management aware? Yes. Are you sure the chairman is aware of your movement? I wrote a letter. She's aware, sir. Are you sure the secretary is aware of your movement? He's aware. Because I did the, they gave me a letter of uh, acceptance signed by Dr. Etek, uh, Mr. Etek, of course. Then there's interaction between Amcom and federal character. That I don't know, but... So how many people, according to you, you are, I thank you for being a very willing uh, uh, witness. How many outside Amcon, I mean outside Federal Character, how many Nigerians applicants did you help the chairperson to recruit into other agencies? No, no, I don't. Eh? No, just Federal Character. Only Federal Character. Mm -hmm. So all in all, what is the total amount of money you collected on our behalf from various applicants to federal character. What is the total sum? I don't know this one. Eh? Yeah? Don't know. Speak to the mic, please. Okay. I don't know. Speak. Speak. I don't know the exact amount. You don't, you don't know the... How many... How many bank... You see, ordinarily, your reach with your bankers should be a mm. private one. Mm. But the parliament has the powers, mm. you know, uh, based on the uh, Legislative House of Privileges Act to request for evidences to help our investigation. Yes. It's under that provision that uh, the parliament was able to have access to your uh, uh, bank statements. So perusing your bank statements, who and whom have you been, have, did you transfer money to on behalf of the chairperson or commissioner? Transfer? No. So how much in cash in total? Have you given to the chair to Dr. Dan Kaka? He is in piecemeal. Yeah, but you should have, have a, a, yeah. there should be accountability now. Mm -hmm. Even in the committee of teams, there should be a, there should be, there should be, there should be accountability. If you have collected so much eh, from three bank accounts, UPA, Echo Bank, and Access Bank, you should be able to total the total sum. I mean, you should account for all the people that uh, you, have, you have got the money from now. You should be able to tell us the total sum. Okay, excuse me, did you also give money to the committee, the, the secretary? No, no, no. Oh, you're not agent to secretary? No, no. Only the... <laughs> What's the problem? Thank so, you. thank you. Thank you for thank now. You. I appreciate it. As a DEX officer of IPPIS, a federal character commission, and a chief protocol officer to the chairman of the commission, was it part of your job description to issue appointment letters to qualified applicants at the end of their recruitment? One. Secondly, when you are collecting money, all the transactions were made directly to your personal accounts. Or you have other transactions that were made in cash to you that you honorably and sincerely presented to the chairman 
as submitted to you by the potential uh, Federal Character Commission's staff. Thirdly, you said all the appointment letters presented to the commission alleging that they were all from you. They were not fake. They were original. And it's the same chairman that you allege that is part of the conspiracy rejected those appointment letters and tagged them as fact. How will you reconcile? How, how will you reconcile between these two ends? Thank you. On your mic. Uh, issue of the letter of the applicant. I didn't really get the question, but she she used to give me the letter to give them. One. Then all the appointment letters. Was okay. it part of your job description in her office to collect the letter on behalf of successful candidates? And it's not. It's not part of the job description. Thank you. That is what I. Think. It's not part of the job okay. description. Next question. Okay. It's your question, please. Can I go in? Yes, please. Short in summary, please. Uh -huh. The next was about the, the le appointment letters purportedly mm -hmm. issued by you to the applicants, which you confirm is true. Yes. And you confirm that they are equally genuine, yes. not fake. Yes. yes. Signed by the chairman. Yes, and when the letters were presented to her, mm -hmm. alleging that they were fake, yes. she accepted that, yes, they were fake, and she is not even aware of them. How will you explain that? She's aware, sir. Thank you. The chairman said it was fake, and she even referred those letters to disciplinary committee. My, our own concern here is to be just, to be honest, and to ensure the mandate we have discharged to the best of our ability. You have an inflow within a short period of time of 38 million 579 million 500 and how comfortable are you as a civil servant that earned, earned 130 or 150 thousand and 10 thousand to have that kind of money in your account in the name of serving as a front to someone but never at once have you transferred to have evidence of linking that huge amount of money to the account of a commissioner in the commission or the chairman of the Federal Character Commission, but you decide to withdraw it in according to you. In what? POS. Are you comfortable with that? You are comfortable? You are comfortable? I'll come to that. You are comfortable with doing that? Have an inflow, Haruna Kolo, of one hand. See, we want to believe you. We don't want to crucify you unjustly. And we don't equally want to crucify any commissioner of the federal character unjustly or the chairman. We want to go to equity open for people to see and read. I, I, I find it difficult to understand that you have up to that money in your account, but you find it convenient to only go to POS, remove the money and give, without transferring, you admitted, without transferring to the person. That is one. Two, this is not only your account that we have. Who do you say is the usual? Where is usual? The Shehu. Is he here? Shehu. Commissioner Karaba. What's the name of your driver? His name is Yushau Gambo. I have seen 16 transfers at different 26 transfers from account of Haruna Kolo to Shehu. 626. I have it here. Well highlighted. 
I go to equity with clean hands. And secondly, it equally beat my imagination that a driver to the commission will be able to have that kind of money in his account. So our investigation is not about one person. It's about the entire federal character. The entire federal character. Now, we will not tell you anything, but we will tell the audience and commissioners something. One of our letters is pending, and until we get that, we will not be true with Haruna Kolo. That letter is a letter asking us about the account statement of the principal people he have interacted with here so that we establish relationship between his transfer and any person in federal character, commissioner, chairman, driver, or whosoever. Until you have that, you cannot take decision. We have a foundation to take decision. Admittance of Haruna Kolo clearly here. He is serving as a front in the commission. He is collecting money in the commission. We have evidences of money in his account in the commission against the service, against the financial external regulation, and against democracy. Now the next step is to link these transfers to principal actors here. And if we are not careful, some of you will begin to understand me. You will not get the answer. If we are not smart and fast to have this, to have that, to have this, if anybody will come here and play with our brain. I will tell Kolo more about him based on his financial transaction. The record I have about him, he doesn't even have. The letters in his file I have about him, he doesn't even have. And no, no member of this commission knows how I got those, how this committee got those things. Commissioner. I'm coming, sir. Commissioner, no, don't tell me you are coming. Listen. Listen, have we concluded this investigation? Do you think we will not ask you a question again? Convince us at this moment, no of the integrity or non-integrity or pure what. Allow us to listen and at the end we draw conclusion. We are not even up to the half, let alone the end. So don't bring any... Thank you very much. I thank God for today that I'm able to defend myself because uh, what they promised me, I did not know that it's going to be like this. Three years ago, when I started the cleansing of this place, I was attacked and my vehicle was sprayed by bullets. The vehicle was repaired back at the premises. I was together with the secretary of the commission. We went to testify, I mean, uh, during the budget, budget uh, defense. And it was at the time for us, it was, it was around 5 o'clock. And I just looked at the time, one, I was dressed, two, for us to pray. I told the secretary we should go home so that we can come back. When it was 5.30, the secretary left because we drove in my car and he followed me behind. He followed, his, his car followed me behind. That was how we got to the house. But when it was time, that my essay is no more with us. It was one that went back to the play when I called the, the, the DFA and it told us not yet time. Immediately my vehicle came out from the, on the, on the, on the, at the express. Two vehicles double across and they spray my side. So I thank God I'm able to be able to talk today. I swear with Almighty God and with this Quran. Order, I, got order, this, order, I, order, I got this Quran from the secretary. He brought it to this place. Thank God the secretary brought this Quran to this place. If I ever collect one naira from this Kolo, may Almighty destroy what I've worked for. If I ever in my life ask him to go and collect one naira from anybody, whatever I'm looking for, with this Quran, may it destroy me. I'm a Muslim. This, I mean, now, it, 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 it says, I have, for the past two, three years and two months, I have SSS that are with me. Two of them are here. What separates me is when I enter my room to sleep and by 8 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm coming. 
What separates me from with me, the SSA for the past three years is when I enter my house. They come to the house, and I leave the house with them, and they come, they, they return me back to the house. They are here. They can be a living witness. I've not set eyes on this colo since December. Thank I you. swear, I'm coming, sir, please, since December. And then you know what happened? What uh, uh, Lagos said, and he told me, he said they have viral and pen. What they used to do? Sorry, uh, chairman. Excuse me chairman, now, we come chairman, back to them. Chairman, 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 okay, okay, chairman. Okay, okay, okay. See, see. It's okay, I'm see. coming. Let me just finish up. Because this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's to my house. Exactly. I have not in my life asked you to collect. I don't, know know the second, I don't know the driver. I don't know the driver that they are talking about. I've never set eyes on the driver. See, I will, see don't do that here, Lagos. We have interjected on your behalf. Is it because of that that you are capitalizing on that emotion? Quran is here. I've we never have in my life. Objection. Stand up and scream. It's here. Ask you to give me one naira. It's here. All what he does for me is when we are going to the airport, you buy ticket for me. He said he comes to my house to give money. He does not come to my house you. to give money. Thank because you. I, excuse me, I stayed in an estate. Before you enter, I must give go ahead for you to enter. Chairman, Apart from I, my chairman SSA, I should tell you, excuse me. In Nile, I should tell you, it's okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have had a rule now. Ours is to listen to some extent. But when the listening is One getting to chairman, respect yourself. Oh. Respect yourself. We are all listening. See, at the end of the day, there are some allegations, ladies and gentlemen, that we will have to be very judicial in nature. Because... This committee will not sit down and watch taxpayers' money being embezzled. But this committee, too, will be very careful in inducting features of people, just like Ogun was talking, Oshun. I said in the things I read, I didn't see relationship between selling this and selling that. I was very clear. We knew why we were asking Kolo to give us evidence. And we knew why we are deferring this sitting for order witnesses that are alleged to have had financial dealings with federal character before we move forward. We must come out with, this is just one thing, recurring in what? Federal character. We are not talking about slot in other agencies. So please leave this thing. Don't, and, 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 and I appeal. Just like, I, have, I equally have emotions. I will see the truth, but you see someone saying lies. I have to tolerate it as a chairman. So you that are observers too need to tolerate some certain things. Don't talk by gesture, trying to determine, to preempt the outcome of this investigation. We are not going to allow that. If you like, say, uh, uh, what's your business? If people are talking, allow us to interact with those that are talking. But everybody is fair hearing. And at the end of the day, it is based on facts. Am I supposed to rule in the case of Ocean and say that there is no relationship between the allegations and what the evidence they give against him? We should leave this until the end, but I did that as a case study so that people should know that. Because you say Ocean have sold house, bought a house to pay with employment slot. If we don't have evidence to justify that, it's, it's a rumor. <laughs> it's a rumor. So, in as much as he has testified before you, without evidence, but he has said it, we are relying on other people to equally come and testify before us, so that we see where we can get evidence. So, don't push us into taking decisions. We are listening. So, in as much as we are listening, everybody should listen. Federal character. Allow us with the witnesses. Wallahi. Whosoever that is found wanting will will answer his father's name. <laughs> will answer his father's name. So that including Kolo Haruna. Yes. So everybody that is found wanting will answer his father's name. We are not going to do that to anybody. So thank you very much for coming. We will communicate to you. Wait, wait. 
Federal character. Yes, sir. I need protection. Yes. <laughs> See, Haruna Kolo, I'm not saying anything will happen to you. But by law, you are not supposed to live here without being arrested. For a civil servant that have 30 something million in his account, that admitted publicly that you are serving as a front to aid corruption. So I'm quiet. I think, and I don't want to take you off on that, because we don't want to be seen to be sentimental. We want to, as much as possible, protect you to get evidence against you and against others. You just got our letter today. Eh? But you have seen allegation in the media. And you have been running for your life. But you have not approached the committee until you got our letter today. We have made pronouncement for you to come. Without even writing letter. I came on Friday. Thank you. God will save you. <laughs> and God will save us all. Nothing will happen to you by the special grace of God. Nothing. Because anybody that wants to harm you knows that if they harm you, we have suspect. So nothing is going to harm you. At least, those POS people should give you something to go and hide in the hotel. The money you have been collecting on behalf of others. At least you have some balance in your account. You can, you can disguise in a hotel depending on when. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. 